Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Cancer, let's see how you're doing, how your person is doing and what action we can expect now in this connection. And these are general collective readings. Cancer will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So my angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Cancer and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life now. Thank you. All right, Cancer, let's start your reading. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, Cancer, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Cancer newbies, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual cards, etc. Action cards. Uh, but for the duration of the reading, Cancer, I will be mentioning this side as person A, this side as person B. If this is your reading, you'll know exactly which side you resonate best with, right? So bottom of my deck, I have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody is very, very upset. Maybe they didn't get the commitment they wanted or just feeling very ungrounded in a connection. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, Cancer, from what I feel, there was a bit of a conflict, maybe a fight, maybe somebody in a moment of rashness may have said or done certain things which they're not very proud of, to be honest, and uh, they are thinking of coming forward with an apology. Whereas the other person is now looking at the, their person who created the fight as very petty and very immature and saying, hey, you know, I want justice. I, I mean, if you're not going to bring it to me, I'm going to bring it to myself. But I want justice. So let's see what the story is all about, Cancer. I'm going to start with some dialogue message cards here. Let's see if you could say something to each other now, what that would be. And then we'll start the clarification. So Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person spirit. They could say something to each other now. Okay. I'm going to take a few more from another deck, Cancer. Cancer and their person. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Cancer, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Cancer and their person. All right. Good to go, Cancer. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I have a really hard time opening up my emotions to anyone. Missing you so much, we truly did have something special. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I said to you. See, that's, that's what I said. So this was the first thing I said, right? Somebody was very rash with their words and they do want to apologize. They are feeling, I wish I could take back all the hurtful things that I said. Don't let my arrogance fool you. I feel unworthy. Why do you stay when they treat you so badly? I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. All right, Cancer, if these were resonating with your storyline, let's start your reading. I'm going to start as usual with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you, then we'll start clarifying the cards. So my angels, for my Cancer gang, please, blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Higher education. Well, this probably was a lesson lesson in maybe somebody maybe taught somebody their ego problems or how to behave or how to seize you know the opportunity at the right time with the right way and not be arrogant or prideful or something and uh, let's see what it's taught the other person let's clarify the cards and see what this higher education is all about so here we go Okay, start here. I'm going to start with the energies of person A, Cancer, then we move on to person B. 
so person a so can see you could be either side right i'm not judging here you would know your own story so what's this knight of swords in reverse spirit knight of swords yes pride 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 made them say certain things they were holding back not putting any work in the connection being very very rash immature and even though i think heart of hearts they did want to they did see stability with person b maybe their pri in their pride they um, didn't say the right things or they didn't offer that stability when the time was right or they were just holding back being very rude or uh, immature which eventually led to their person getting very upset with them angry with them and maybe l losing trust right in this connection now whoever this person is who was immature or who was being prideful is realizing they need to apologize for you know hurting their parts uh, person they were hiding their emotions cancer this person did that does have a lot of love for person b but they kind of were uh, like this card said i have a really hard time opening up my emotions to anyone so now they're wondering how to come forward with an apology they heart of hearts they do see person b as their be all and end all the queen of pentacles upright i mean as much as they see person b is that maybe they made them feel this way right queen of pentacles in reverse i am not sure about you I, I don't want to get committed i'm not ready yet or whatever else they may have said but they made them feel this way where heart of hearts they always knew that person b was their be all and end all and they know now that they have to come forward with an apology so what happened spirit from person a's perspective in the recent past for them to now no let's take a page of cups first so what's this page of cups spirit page of cups one more yes they have to apologize for acting so rude and so mean this is like somebody winning for the sake of winning and fighting for the sake of fighting but just because they want to be one up or they want to just be arrogant for the sake of it and go ha 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 you know I'm, i i won and you lost and they know that their bad behavior has caused their person now not to trust them and not to have any kind of belief in this connection anymore and that's the reason they know that they need to come forward and apologize so what happened spirit in the recent past for person a to be feeling this way S strength yes holding back holding back that with their pride and ego trying to be a bit of a magician even though i think heart of hearts they always knew they always knew that they were they wanted to end up with person b i think they always knew that um, maybe they didn't say it but they were manifesting it but outwardly you know trying to pretend that hey you know i'm not interested i'm blocking you and pushing their person away i mean very dual personality kind of a thing you know like they knowing and manifesting a happily ever after but on the outside showing hey i'm not interested which probably caused their person to turn their back on them yes this person uh, person b i think started guarding themselves and if you're not interested then i'm going to step back and guard my own heart i'm going to turn my back on you if you are not going to come forward to me three of wands in reverse three of wands in reverse so this was basically a false victory okay this the pride and ego i think took a big hit and they ho they were holding on to it but i don't think they managed and uh, now they're feeling oh very confused as to what did i do did i was i victorious or did i lose like now they're feeling half almost half embarrassed and ashamed of their own actions because now the person has um, turned their back on them so how does person a now feel about the connection spirit the chariot why is the chariot here now they're feeling very depressed very very depressed lonely sad because things have stagnated and uh, now they're disappointed very very disappointed sad lonely depressed everything has halted now they're looking at their their own maybe behavior and feeling very disappointed that they had a chance to move forward in a beautiful connection and this is what they've done nine of wands nine of wands they want to they want to they want to 
<laughs> I like the way I'm stammering. They're, they're as nervous as I am right now, okay? I don't know why I'm nervous, but I think I'm picking up their energy. They feel uh, they feel they need to c- come and bear their soul, maybe reveal what's really in their heart. Basically, they want to get unstuck. The only thing that's maybe stopping them is that they're guarding themselves against maybe an argument or a fight and they're expecting that, right? If I go back with an apology, it's going to turn into a fight. But they do desperately want to come forward. So, Nine of Wands, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. They feel that person doesn't love them anymore and has already made that choice. Uh, but they don't know. They don't know that this is my Two of Cups. They feel it. And they kind of feel feeling it's now slowly going in the reverse it hasn't yet it came out sideways right so they really don't know what to think what to believe because as much as they want to come forward they feel they've lost the love their partner will never forgive them has already made a choice against them now and yes drop them no longer waiting around so what action person a will take will they come with an apology or not i'll open later let's go on to the other side and see what's really happening on person b's end Person B, page of swords. Why do you feel like that in reverse? Person B says my person was very immature. Very, very immature, very petty. They fought with me for no reason at all. And uh, I've decided I can't carry all the burden of this connection on my shoulders. If they're not going to meet me halfway, then I'm ready to drop this past baggage. Justice. Yes, because my person B feels that they were only taking from me. They took, took, took all my love and they never refilled my cup. So now I'm feeling very emotionally drained out and I need to do justice to my own self. And I feel the best way to do it is release them and uh, take care of myself now. Because their person B is running on empty. So what happens with it in the recent past for person B to have made a decision like that? the world they either felt cheated or they caught person a lying or cheating or something like that even though they didn't want to really complete or end this chapter with person a they always felt neglected felt left out in the cold they always felt that they were it was the entire relationship was backfiring on them because they were not getting what they deserved I think a person B have, may have eventually made that decision to walk away from this connection. Walk away and end this chapter of their life where they were not given justice. I think after a long time of uh, you know being stressed out and overthinking and being trapped in their mind and feeling like they were the only ones in the connection and nobody else was there alongside, uh, they finally said, hey, I'm, I'm going to take off these rose tinted glasses, I'm going to remove that blindfold, unchain myself and get out of this cycle that I've got myself into. So eight of swords for it, eight of swords. Eight of Swords. Yes, even though I think, I think it wasn't easy for Person B. They weren't really happy doing that because Person A, at some level, was their happiness, right? But they were never completely happy. They did, they did feel that Person A was some kind of a soulmate or a past life connection. So to leave them behind wasn't very easy. But they had no option. But. Uh, uh, leave the soulmate behind to find themselves. They decided to become single, independent and take care of themselves. So not very happily I would say. It wasn't easy to leave a soulmate behind or walk away from them. But uh, person B made a decision to love themselves first and maybe just focus on themselves or their pentacles or their well-being. So how does person B now feel about the connection spirit? Person B has the judgment card. Why is that spirit? Okay. Person B feels that they really did want, actually to heart of hearts, person B also really wanted a rebirth of this connection or something. But then after this tower blew up, maybe 
after maybe person A was shown as a character who was cold or harsh or rude or mean or something, person B had no choice. They had no choice but to make a decision to have a rebirth of their own life. They decided, hey, it's not worth it. This is like too much of a thing to bear. This tower and this king of swords who's just so unemotional and so cold and so harsh. I'm making a decision for myself to maybe move on and have a restart of my life somewhere else. Basically, person B is now become the queen of swords in reverse. They don't trust person A anymore. They don't trust them. They are angry with them. They've left with some bad memories here. Queen of Swords spirit in reverse. Oh, that's so beautiful. I mean, whatever anger, hurt or whatever they've had, whatever anger, hurt, whatever they've had, uh, this process, I think, has led person B to not only heal themselves. This is an active decision made by person B to walk away and work on themselves. And they are healing themselves. And guess what? Becoming an empress. Whatever lessons, higher education, no wonder this card came up. Now, whatever lessons person B has learnt, they've used them really well. And uh, now they're saying, yes, I'm still looking for love. I'm looking maybe for new love. Or if this per past person needs to come back, that they need to come back as at least a king with a proper apology. Otherwise, I'm an empress. I really don't need anyone in my life. I can take care of myself. Yes, I want a passionate lover in my life, but I want them to come correct now. That's how person B is feeling. All right, so let's see what actions you guys will take towards e each other, if any, now. I'm going to take a different deck for this one, Cancer. And if you guys are still here, I'm going to request you to push that thumbs up button. Just click it. It helps the videos to circulate, I believe. And uh, newbies, if you guys are still here, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell so you don't, you don't miss out my future videos. Anyways, your next one will be out on Friday, which, I, which we here call the Love Bite. So, person A, what action will you take? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that an action? Why is that an action, Spirit, from person A's end? Why is that an action from person A's end, Spirit? Why is that an action? Why is that an action? Person person A has fallen in love okay one more knight of cups yes okay so they if there were there was anything uh, anything else which was which was distracting them maybe third parties third parties doesn't have to be another woman or a man could be work could be their own you know stuff going on they are ready to drop all that. I think right now they could be planning how to bring this apology. They want to this time come correct. They don't want to come as a, you know, mean person or a rude person or a harsh person. In fact, they're thinking of buying person B roses and coming with an emotional offer. I think they are in love, finally. They have re recognized their love and they want to offer it to this Queen of Wands person B who they feel is really attractive really sexy and now that so much work has been done by person B on themselves they could they must be probably shining right turning heads wherever they're going and the uh, person A has been watching now they're re recognizing hey I want to give my love to this queen of wands and this time I'm going to go with emotions so I don't know how how soon they're going to come this is on their mind the apology is on their mind they are kind of planning maybe a romantic gesture or something like that they, they're not sure of how to make it work that's about it so that planning stage is going on if, if i do this or do that how can i win or how can i offer my love in the correct way now which is very sweet okay so person b will you take any action towards person a or otherwise Four of Wands in reverse. Why is that an action? Four of Wands in reverse. Why is that an action? Why is that an action? 
Why is that an action, Spirit? Person B feels... Person B feels if this person comes towards me with a offer of commitment, that may that may not work out for me if they suddenly come and tell me they want to commit to me or marry me or something because that would again be very rash behavior I want them this time to take their time I, I want to be patient with myself I want them to be patient I want them to prove over time that they really have emotions for me I don't want any sudden changes in my life anymore because if they'll come in quick they'll leave as fast so uh, but what action will you take, um, person B? What action will you take? The emperor. I think the one person A to prove themselves. Or if not person A, anyone else. Because they, person B is ready. Person B is ready for a brand new beginning. My God. The fool, the ace of wands. So they, person B is very, very sure they are going to be saying no to anyone who's going to be rash or immature, who's, who's going to take things lightly. I think person B is very sure that this time they want to take their time and go for the long haul commitment, looking for an emperor to come into their life. So this could be a bit of a shock to person B if person A comes in back into their life. They may not trust them immediately. They may want person A to take their time and prove that yes, they can be an emperor to the empress. So maybe that's the lesson they've learned that, you know, um, don't jump into anything too fast before you know you give the other person a chance maybe person b has been over loving over giving and given more in the connection in the past and they got taken for granted so now this time what they've learned is patience uh, you give a little then you get some and then you give a little don't immediately say yes to something and then feel hurt because uh, then it doesn't work out right so i think person b has learned a uh, uh, this higher education person B has learned that I have to be patient and allow people to come to me correct and person A is recognizing that th this kind of behavior this cold behavior this uh, you know it's not going to get them anywhere they're going to lose the love of their life and they have to then bring out the feminine side of them which is their emotional side so yes, the, the little time, give them a little time. They are planning uh, an emotional offer, person B. This person A is planning this. So depends on how quick they come. But even if they come quick, take your time, person B. That will be the right way to do it. So that's all I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste, cancer.